I have been a hot rodder for a long, long time, ever since I was a little kid. And one of the things that I noticed being a young, healthy male growing up into a mature male, there are women in the hobby and some of these women are absolutely gorgeous. Well, we are so fortunate today to have Aquanetta, the most beautiful woman in the entire history of hot rodding. Aquanetta, it's, it's a thrill to have you on the show today. Likewise, Lance. So what brings you here to the Seattle Roadster Show? Well, I got my car here today, mm -hmm. my little Deuce Coupe. Okay, tell us about your Deuce Coupe. Well, I drive a Deuce Coupe because I was conceived on the hood of a Deuce Coupe. I was born on the seat of a Deuce Coupe and I lost my virginity in a Deuce Coupe. Okay, so that all the stations, all the family stations, they're, they're gone now. Okay, so tell us a little bit more about I mean, that was pretty brief. You went through that pretty quickly. Can you give us a little more details about your background? Well, I've been in hot riding a long time. Spent a lot of time at the drive-in theaters, the drive-in restaurants, uh -huh. cruising the gut, uh -huh. riding with the guy who has the coolest car. Uh -huh. And um, now I have my own car. I've had it for, off and on for a few years, but I was meant to have a deuce because I have that connection with the deuce. Yeah. This one I've had for two years. Mm -hmm. I, I would think that a woman as beautiful as you with a car as beautiful as this is totally irresistible. What happens when you drive into a car show? Do, do men just literally fall on the ground around you? Yeah, there's usually like a salivating wolf pack following me around. A salivating wolf pack, that's a nice visual. Except for I don't see him here today. He oh, must have scared him off. Back. We had to have security <laughs> hold him back. Today. Your handsome manliness scared him off, yeah. Lance. Well, thank you. Tell me a little bit about your 32 Ford. Well, it's powered by a big block Chevy. Mm -hmm. It's got a real pretty interior in it, mm -hmm. which I like to spend a lot of time in there. Okay. And um, nostalgia style rod suits me the best, uh -huh. don't you think? Yeah, it does. Now, if you're going down the road in this and you have some really cute guy next to you, do other women in the hobby, wives and girlfriends that are at these car shows, do they get a little concerned about that, that you might be able to have your way, so to speak, with their gentlemen? Yeah, and I understand. They do a lot of hand gestures driving down the road. Uh -huh. A lot of waving, a lot of you friendly know, a lot waving. Of friendly waving. And women as beautiful as you in the hobby are, are rare. What advice would you give to somebody that that's perhaps it just wants to end up at your level of beauty? Well, don't skimp on the accessories. Accessories are really important. A girl can't have too many accessories. And I want to warn you, it costs a lot of money to look this cheap. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know if cheap's the right word. It's stunning comes to mind. And Aquanetta, I want to thank you for being on the show. It is such an honor to have the most beautiful woman in the history of hot rodding on the Vintage Vehicle Show. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you, Lance. All right. Maybe one right here. I think so. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs>